Hello, I'm Damien Sneed. Let's take a deeper look into the well-known song, I Don't Feel No Ways Tired. This song was actually written by Curtis Burrell, but it was brought to a point and place of popularity by the late Reverend James Cleveland. James Cleveland was the founder of the Gospel Music Workshop of America, a great institution which still convenes today, usually in the summer months of each year. And they are all about the propagation and the education of what gospel music is and continuing in the tradition of different styles of gospel music. This song has been used in movies, it has been used in television, been used many times. Many people have even done their own recordings of it uh, to try to put their own stamp or their own take of their expression of this song. Now, of course, the words, they're very important, especially with gospel music, because gospel music many times was created out of the struggle of a people who were trying to express these feelings and these emotions at the same time while being heard. So, the lyrics are, I don't feel no ways tired. I come too far. Of course, grammatically, it would be correct to say, I've come, I have come too far. But the lyrics actually say, I come too far from where I started from. Nobody told me that the road would be easy. I don't believe he brought me this far to leave me. Some of you can go online and you can actually hear a well-known group uh, who's all over the television, Mary Mary, and they also did a recording of this a few years ago. Let's take a look at what's written here in the hymnal. Now, of course, in the hymnal, you will hear the absence of a true, solid, structured bass line. Let's look at the actual chord structure, and I'm going to point out the bass line. Tonic. Five. One. Four. Five, one. Going to the four chord. Three. Six. Three to six. A minor three chord. F7, which would be a one chord, but it's functioning as a secondary dominant to go to the four chord. One. Stepwise down to the six. This is the F7 over five which is C in this case. The four chord, like amen, amen. My take on it. Here's what I did. One chord. Now I have a, like a suspension chord with the five, the C and the bass. In my left hand, I'm playing C, G, and E flat. In the right hand, F, B flat, E flat. And the A is the melody with the pinky. So we have I don't feel. I go back to the one chord with a C minor pretty much in the left hand and right hand. Keeping the A there. 
C, E flat, G, A, C. Then a four chord. Then C over B. Then F over A. Four chord. Six chord. Walking up to six from the three. This is an unusual pattern. Um, I have E, G sharp, and D in the left hand. G, C, and F in the right hand. This is somewhat on uh, the left hand, like an E7, without the fifth, and almost an F2. The F with the second or with the ninth, but I'm leaving out the third here. Because I'm going to the three. So it's also similar to a secondary dominant of three. The melody, nobody told me. Then five, one, four. Six. Now instead of doing what's written in the hymn, I don't believe he brought me this far. I decided to make it a four to four. So the four of B flat is E flat. Four against five in F major. James Cleveland. 